Hi everyone, my name is Daniel, and as we gear up for Living Donation Week, I'm very excited to make our pitch for prehab to prepare living liver donors for enhanced recovery, otherwise known as the Propeller Study. And as a professor in the Faculty of Kinesiology and Phys Ed at the University of Toronto, and researcher at the University Health Network, I'm going to attempt to deliver my pitch in a four minute lecture. So let's get right into it. A recent article in the BMJ likened major surgery to a marathon. And it's true. In fact, our body's cardiovascular, hormonal, and neurological systems react in very similar ways under both conditions. And like marathons, our performance in surgery is optimized when we've been exercising, eating well, and are mentally prepared. So why do we prepare so well for a race, but not for surgery? Well, it turns out that we can and should train for surgery. And we call this prehabilitation. Prehab incorporates various health optimizing strategies to help you be as physically and mentally fit and resilient as you can be for the challenge of surgery. And as we stated before, the more fit you are for a challenge, the better off you'll be. Research in prehab really only started gaining interest in the early 2000s, but as you can see, in the last five years, there's been exponential growth in the field. And what much of this research has shown is that prehab improves physical function and psychological well-being before and after surgery. It reduces the risk of surgical complications and contributes to shorter post-operative hospital stays. However, most studies have targeted people who are less healthy or frail and who are at higher risk of poor surgical outcomes. But what about prehab for living organ donors? Living donors undergo a lot of screening and assessments to ensure they're healthy enough to donate, but that doesn't mean that the surgery for donors is easy. For some, the donation experience is very challenging. Research has shown that approximately 10 to 30% of organ donors report pain, fatigue, emotional stress, and poor physical function for six months or more after donation. So is being healthy enough for donation enough to prevent the very challenging surgical side effects? Would being fitter help these people manage the donation experience even better? These are very important questions because the donor is very special. The donor engages in a selfless act and puts her or himself at a significant risk and a lot of discomfort for no direct benefit to them. As such, the philosophy of care in transplantation routinely acknowledges that the donor's well-being and the prevention of any adverse consequences of donation are among the foremost priorities in transplantation. So, as we ask, is healthy enough truly enough? We may also ask, are we doing enough to protect our donors from the adverse effects of organ donation? In the Propeller study, we hope to start answering these questions by examining the feasibility and effects of prehab for living liver donors. In this proof of concept study, we'll recruit 12 living liver donors from the Ajmer Transplant Center in Toronto and provide them with a prehab program comprising individualized exercise, healthy eating and nutritional support, and psychological support and education to make sure that donors feel as fit as they possibly can before surgery. We'll measure physical function, pain, fatigue, quality of life, mental health, and the feasibility of prehab, as well as participant satisfaction with the program. And to measure these, we'll use validated research tools at baseline, the week before surgery, and at four and eight weeks after surgery. Propeller comprises an interprofessional team of clinicians and researchers from the University of Toronto, the Ajmer Transplant Center, and the UHN Prehab Program. Propeller is co-led by Dr. Hans Clark and myself. My name is Daniel Santamina, and on behalf of our team, thanks for listening to our pitch for the Propeller Study, and we look forward to getting the chance to further share our vision for this project during Living Donation Week. Bye for now.